So my name's Hannah Craig and I'm the Programme Director at Partnership for Children. Um, so we're a small children's mental health charity based in the UK. So our office is in South London, um, but we work with over 30 partner organisations across the world. So since we were established about 20 years ago, um, actually around 2 million children have benefited from our um, evidence-based social and emotional learning programmes. We offer five Skills for Life programmes for children aged 5 to 13, um, including children with special educational needs. Um, and the programmes teach children how to cope with everyday difficulties, how to communicate with and get with other people, um, how to build self-awareness and emotional resilience. So they're all around uh, mental health, coping skills and relationship building. Um, and we provide the training and resources to schools so that teachers can implement the programmes in the classroom because that's the way that we'd reach the most children. Um, so my role within Partnership for Children is managing our UK programme um, and our work with vulnerable children. So we work with um, looked after children and young carers as well. We've worked with Sleeping Giants since 2019 and we're around halfway through our project with them so we've got a couple, couple more years to go. Um, so we're really fortunate to receive four years of funding from the Cavley Trust um, and they own the Carlton McLennan Pate factory in Kukubri, um, and they commissioned us to run our Skills for Life programmes with all the schools in the Dumfries and Galloway region. Um, so we initially um, commissioned Sleeping Giants and um, with their partner Lorna Bell Research to run the external evaluation of the project. Um, and then following um, our initial meetings with them on this, we actually then decided to also commission them to be our local project coordinator as well, um, so that they could um, support Partnership for Children to reach the primary schools um, in Dumfries and Galloway, deliver the teacher training um, and develop the programmes for the Scottish context. Um, and the evaluation is a really important part of the project for us. So whilst all of our programmes have been positively evaluated individually um, in lots of different cultures, we don't actually have any evidence yet of the programmes effect in, in a Scottish context or the effects of all of our programmes running in one school together. Um, so as part of the, the funded project with Cavley, um, we wanted to collect qualitative and quantitative feedback on the programmes um, to really help us understand the impact that they have and how they've been received in, in Dumfries and Galloway schools. Um, so Sleeping Giants have been doing two things for us really, it's the evaluation of the project but also managing the project as a whole. Um, so they started with promoting the Skills for Life programmes locally, um, relationship building with key stakeholders and, and local partners. Um, they recruited all of the schools to take on the programmes, they arranged um, and did the delivery of the, of the school training um, and have been, on, have been an ongoing support really with the schools, answering teacher queries um, and running support sessions remotely as well. Um, in terms of the evaluation, they created the evaluation plan with Lorna Bell Research and we've gone through the first data collection phase as well and they were involved in um, setting up all, the, all of the data collection with, with schools. Um, and going forward, um, even once the project's finished with them, we really hope that um, we can continue working with Sleeping Giants so that there's sustainability within the project and perhaps growth across wider areas in Scotland as well. In terms of consultation, that happens a lot at the beginning of the project. So they were um, they led all the consultation with the relevant stakeholders, so um, local authority contacts and, and leads within health and education so that we can involve them all in the project, um, especially the creation of the evaluation plan so that we knew that we, we were um, commissioning an evaluation which would be of most use to the local area and, and the stakeholders within it. Um, and stakeholder participation and support was something we were struggling with um, slightly before Sleeping Giants came on board. So it was really helpful that we managed to get the local authority support and buy-in um, once Sleeping Giants had come on board, which is great. Um, in terms of engagement, um, Sleeping Giants led all the initial engagement with schools to take part in the project and programmes which you know is a, is a big job so there's lots of um, mapping exercises they took part in to review all of the schools improvement plans to identify the needs of each of the schools so they could really see where the programmes are fitting with each school um, and then they led all of the meetings and, and initial engagement meetings with the senior leadership teams of schools to get schools to sign up. And then in terms of evaluation um, with Lorna Bell Research the, the objectives that, that they're working on for the evaluation are to explore primary schools, um, teachers, um, parents and children's experience of the, of the Skills for Life programme, as I've mentioned, but also to um, identify the factors that shape how the programmes are implemented in the Scottish context and explore the mechanisms that affect the outcomes as well. Um, so it's kind of going a step further than perhaps other evaluations we've done in the past um, have, have looked at really, so that we can really understand what affects these outcomes. So going forward, we know what we need to 
to change about the programme or change about the way it's implemented to have the best the best outcomes. So it's sort of summer 2020 that we officially launched the Skills for Life programmes um, and um, we'd been working with Sleeping Giants for perhaps six months before then and before that we were, we were struggling with stakeholder engagement. So it was great that last summer, it, despite the pandemic, Sleeping Giants enabled us to be able to launch Skills for Life in Dumfries and Galloway. So um, we trained over 125 teachers across schools last summer. Um, over 20 schools across the region signed up with Sleeping Giants to attend their online training and receive our programme resources. Um, so this academic year, um, 1,500 children have taken part in our mental health promotion programmes and that's all thanks to, to Sleeping Giants getting the schools involved. So, you know, we're really pleased to, to start receiving the feedback from schools about the impact the programmes had, um, particularly in terms of their COVID recovery plan with, with, with uh, pupils as well. So it was great that, you know, Sleeping Giants really pushed forward with getting schools involved. Um, last last year, so we could we could launch it, um, and they've managed to recruit eight schools to be evaluation schools, um, and the first round of data collection has taken place as well. I think initially, what really drew us to Sleeping Giants and and what we really needed from them at the beginning, which is what they gave us, was it, it's really clear their passion and dedication to um, improve the mental health and well-being of children, and young people, and and that's what we need from any of our partners that we work with. That you know, it's part of their mission, and and they're really passionate, as passionate as we are, to, to do this work. Um, so I think that's that's really um, helpful for us that they've got that and um, of course their local knowledge and their local links with, with partners has really helped us to get the programme off the ground and I think will be the key for sustainability. Um, and really importantly they just really quickly immerse themselves in, in the Partnership for Children programme that and our work so that they could effectively kind of advocate for the programmes on our behalf um, which meant that all their engagement and, cons and consultation work were, were so effective because they you know, really got to grips with the programme and our work really quickly. So I think for small charities and um, like Partnership for Children, you know, we, re we rely on um, our partners, our partnerships with um, external freelance um, consultants to really oversee projects um, because, you know, we don't have the capacity, capacity to and sometimes those work and sometimes those don't. And, and Sleeping Giants, are, you know, exactly what you need as a small charity if, if you're working with a partner because you know, they get on and do everything, you know, perfectly and they communicate well with you. And, um, you know, as I said, they're solution, solution focused and everything they do. So definitely recommend working with them. Um, and I think, you know, for more and more organisations and charities are looking how they can evidence their work and evaluate their work, you know, Sleeping Giants have the partnerships, they have the expertise to do that. Um, and then they're really passionate about what they do. So, you know, you know, you know you're in safe hands and, um, and you're, you're confident that everything's going to be met, all targets are met, all deadlines are met. So, you know, I definitely recommend working with them. You know, we really appreciate all the work Sleeping Giants have done to launch our, our Skills for Life programmes um, in Dumfries and Galloway. And we really look forward to continue working with them over the next couple of years.